Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the pure water set by Mel Chemistry, we will obtain an oxyhydrogen mixture from water electrolysis. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the oxyhydrogen experiment, you will need a solution of sodium hydroxide. Take an empty reagent bottle, a candle, a filter body, two wires with crocodile clips, a cable plug, and the battery holder from the experiment set. Take the rubber stopper with one hole and the beaker from the starter kit. Also prepare four AAA batteries, scissors, and matches or a lighter in advance. Prepare the setup for water electrolysis. Cut the pipette nose at the 0.5 mark. Insert the cable plug securely into the pipette. Place the assembled electrolyzer into the glass beaker with the pipette nose up. Fill the pipette halfway with sodium hydroxide NaOH solution. Hook up the crocodile clips, the red clip to the longer wire and the black clip to the shorter wire. Collect some of the oxyhydrogen mixture in the bottle. Put the plastic bottle on the pipette. Connect the battery holder with the batteries to the crocodile clips. Make sure the red crocodile clip is connected to the red wire and the black clip to the black wire. Wait for three minutes. Disconnect the crocodile clips from the battery holder. Now try to extinguish a candle using the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Put a candle in the rubber stopper with one hole. Light the candle. Take the bottle off the pipe head and carefully bring it close to the candle flame. Electricity disassembles water into a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gas. This mixture is flammable and readily ignites when exposed to flame. The reaction is powerful enough to blow out the candle. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.